Hey everybody, Sean Adams here with Two Get Seen, and today I'm going to talk about the second of the three major categories of the client life cycle. Remember, there's nine stages, three categories, and the second category is sell. We already talked about the attract category and the three stages that came with attract, target, attract, and, and collect the lead. Now we're going to talk about sell. Sell is that next category in the world of the client life cycle. And inside of sell, there's a couple things that you have to do. Before you can actually take the money from somebody, you want to do, you want to educate. Educate is that first stage within the three stages of sell. People will buy from people that they know, like, and trust. And so you need to grow that like, like trust factor through education. This can be through blog posts, email newsletters, sharing really valuable content. Uh, whatever it might be that works for you in your world. It might even just be, if you're a brick and mortar store, it might be having that moment to have a conversation with somebody in the store so they get to know you and like you prior to them actually deciding to purchase something. Uh, I do a lot of antiquing and when I go to antique shops, um, I'm actually more often luck more likely to buy from somebody who sits and has a conversation with me, asks me what my interests are, points out a few things in the store that they have that match the stuff I look for. Because um, most people are looking for something very specific, um, like the shelf behind me, which are antique books. That's what I look for. I don't look for a lot of other things. My wife, on the other hand, has a different set of tastes than I do in our antiques. So it's that idea of knowing what we look for. So you need to educate. Um, get to know the person, get them to know, like, and trust you, get them to trust that I know that ho that owner of that store understands my unique needs, my unique interests, has good knowledge, therefore I trust buying from them. Once you've educated, then you can make the offer, and that's making the right offer at the right time to the right person. They're not going to sit there and say, oh my, we know that you collect antique books, here is a really nice old sewing machine. That doesn't do anything for me. It's the wrong offer. But it could be, here is a fabulous book, uh, an original Napoleon Hill book that we happen to come across. That would be interesting to me because I look for antique personal development and leadership books. So that would be that would be the right offer to me. I would want to look at that because it's exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for. So if you educate your person, you get to know, like, and trust, get them to know, like, and trust you, and you get to know, like, and trust them some, and then you know exactly the right offer to make them. Finally, the last piece of that is closing. And this is a piece that a lot of people are like, I don't get it, why is that a stage? Everybody just closes. You, you gave them the offer, they buy it. The difference is that a lot of people, when it comes to closing, they are um, have a long, drawn out, difficult process. In a brick and mortar, it's different. You pay, you, I want that, here's your cash. But in a lot of consulting, coaching, things like that, they have uh, an initial call, a follow-up call, a contract review, a review of services. And now from the time that they said, yes, I need your help, to the time that you actually get them to sign the thing, could be up to a month. And now that interest, that excitement has, has waned. If they say, I want to go, don't take them through the other stages of your process. Close the deal with them. And so you need to have that ability to close a deal right there and then if it means you have a card swipe on your phone and say, let's get you started. Or if there's a, you pull up your laptop and say, here's the page I want you to go, like, let's get you set up so that I can send you all the information you need. Whatever it might be, you want to get that close to happen as efficiently and effectively as possible as soon as that person is ready to say yes. I'm going to go into more detail on these three stages over the next few videos, but I just want to make sure you understand that the three stages of sell are educate, offer, close. Take care of those three things and you will have money coming in. Fail to do any of those three and you are leaving money on the table. Cheers.